the Gulgi apparatus, also known as the Gulgi complex, Gulgi body, or simply the Gulgi, is an organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. It was identified in 1897 by the Italian physician Camillo Gulgi and named after him in 1898. Part of the cellular endomembrane system, the Gulgi apparatus packages proteins inside the cell before they are sent to their destination. It is particularly important in the processing of proteins for secretion. Discovery Owing to its large size, the Gulgi apparatus was one of the first organelles to be discovered and observed in detail. It was discovered in 1898 by Italian physician Camillo Gulgi during an investigation of the nervous system. After first observing it under his microscope, he termed the structure the internal reticular apparatus. Some doubted the discovery at first, arguing that the appearance of the structure was merely an optical illusion created by the observation technique used by Golgi. With the development of modern microscopes in the 20th century, the discovery was confirmed. Early references to the Golgi referred to it by various names including the Golgi Eurohomegren apparatus, Golgi Eurohomegren ducts, and Golgi Euro KOPSCH apparatus. The term Golgi apparatus was used in 1910 and first appeared in scientific literature in 1913. Structure Found within the cytoplasm of both plant and animal cells, the Golgi is composed of stacks of membrane bound structures known as cisterni. An individual stack is sometimes called a dictyosome, especially in plant cells. A mammalian cell typically contains 40 to 100 stacks. Between 4 and 8 cisterni are usually present in a stack. However, in some protists as many as 60 have been observed. Each cisterna comprises a flat, membrane-enclosed disc that includes special Golgi enzymes which modify or help to modify cargo proteins that travel through it. The cisterni stack has four functional regions, the Cygolgi network, medial Golgi, Endogulgi, and transgulgi network. Vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum fuse with the network and subsequently progress through the stack to the transgulgi network, where they are packaged and sent to their destination. Each region contains different enzymes which selectively modify the contents depending on where they reside. The cisterni also carry structural proteins important for their maintenance as flattened membranes which stack upon each other. Function Cells synthesize a large number of different macromolecules. The Golgi apparatus is integral in modifying, sorting, and packaging these macromolecules for cell secretion or use within the cell. It primarily modifies proteins delivered from the rough endoplasmic reticulum but is also involved in the transport of lipids around the cell, and the creation of lysosomes. In this respect it can be thought of as similar to a post office. It packages and labels items which it then sends to different parts of the cell. Enzymes within the cisterni are able to modify the proteins by addition of carbohydrates and phosphates. In order to do so, the Golgi import substances such as nucleotide sugars from the cytosol. These modifications may also form a signal sequence which determines the final destination of the protein. For example, the Golgi apparatus adds a mannose-6-phosphate label to proteins destined for lysosomes. The Golgi plays an important role in the synthesis of proteoglycans, which are molecules present in the extracellular matrix of animals. It is also a major site of carbohydrate synthesis. This includes the production of glycosaminoglycans, long unbranched polysaccharides which the Golgi then attaches to a protein synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum to form proteoglycans. Enzymes in the Golgi polymerize several of these GAGs via a xylose link onto the core protein. Another task of the Golgi involves the sulfation of certain molecules passing through its lumen via sulfotron phrases that gain their sulfur molecule from a donor called PAPS. This process occurs on the GAGs of proteoglycans as well as on the core protein. Sulfation is generally performed in the transgulgi network. The level of sulfation is very important to the proteoglycan's signaling abilities as well as giving the proteoglycan its overall negative charge. The phosphorylation of molecules requires that ATP is imported into the lumen of the Golgi and utilized by resident kinases such as casein kinase 1 and casein kinase 2. One molecule that is phosphorylated in the Golgi is a polyproprotein, 
which forms a molecule known as VLDL that is a constituent of blood serum. It is thought that the phosphorylation of these molecules is important to help aid in air sorting for secretion into the blood serum. The Golgi has a putative role in apoptosis, with several BCL2 family members localized there, as well as to the mitochondria. A newly characterized protein, GAAP, almost exclusively resides in the Golgi and protects cells from apoptosis by an as yet undefined mechanism. Vesicular transport the vesicles that leave the rough endoplasmic reticulum are transported to the cyphase of the Golgi apparatus, where they fuse with the Golgi membrane and empty their contents into the lumen. Once inside the lumen, the molecules are modified, then sorted for transport to their next destinations. The Golgi apparatus tends to be larger and more numerous in cells that synthesize and secrete large amounts of substances. For example, the plasma B cells and the antibody secreting cells of the immune system have prominent Golgi complexes. Those proteins destined for areas of the cell other than either the endoplasmic reticulum or Golgi apparatus are moved towards the transface, to a complex network of membranes and associated vesicles known as the trans-Golgi network. This area of the Golgi is the point at which proteins are sorted and shipped to their intended destinations by their placement into one of at least three different types of vesicles, depending upon the molecular marker they carry. Transport Mechanism The transport mechanism which proteins use to progress through the Golgi apparatus is not yet clear. However a number of hypotheses currently exist. Until recently, the vesicular transport mechanism was favored but now more evidence is coming to light to support cisternal maturation. The two proposed models may actually work in conjunction with each other, rather than being mutually exclusive. This is sometimes referred to as the combined model. Cisternal maturation model, the cisterni of the Golgi apparatus move by being built at the cyphase and destroyed at the transface. Vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum fuse with each other to form a cisterna at the side face, consequently this cisterna would appear to move through the Golgi stack when a new cisterna is formed at the side face. This model is supported by the fact that structures larger than the transport vesicles, such as collagen rods, were observed microscopically to progress through the Golgi apparatus. This was initially a popular hypothesis, but lost favor in the 1980s. Recently it has made a comeback, as laboratories at the University of Chicago and the University of Tokyo have been able to use new technology to directly observe Golgi compartments maturing. Additional evidence comes from the fact that COPI vesicles move in the retrograde direction, transporting endoplasmic reticulum proteins back to where they belong by recognizing a signal peptide. Vesicular transport model, vesicular transport views the Golgi as a very stable organelle divided into compartments in the cytotrans direction. Membrane-bound carriers transport material between the endoplasmic reticulum and the different compartments of the Golgi. Experimental evidence includes the abundance of small vesicles in proximity to the Golgi apparatus. To direct the vesicles, actin filaments connect packaging proteins to the membrane to ensure that they fuse with the correct compartment. Fate during mitosis, in animal cells, the Golgi apparatus will break up and disappear following the onset of mitosis, or cellular division. During the telophase of mitosis, the Golgi apparatus reappears. As of December 2009 it is uncertain how this occurs. In contrast, Golgi stacks have been observed to remain intact in plant or yeast cells throughout the cell cycle. The reason for this difference is not yet known, but it may, in part, be a consequence of Golgian proteins. References